It does add another wrinkle to this that we did not know even perhaps earlier in the day. New reaction tonight from a former U.S. attorney to a twist in the Shonday Robinson homicide case. DNA testing shows blood found inside the home of Maxwell Anderson does not belong to Shonday Robinson. But we wanted to know why prosecutors added that to today's in their criminal complaint against him. Well, new tonight at 10, Megan Lee took our questions to Jim Santel, a former U.S. attorney. This criminal complaint was amended today, revealing the blood found in Maxwell Anderson's home was tested, but is not Sade Robinson's. But whose is it and why did prosecutors include it in these charging documents? You want the judge to have the full understanding of what you know. I sat down with former United States Attorney Jim Santel to ask why prosecutors included this new finding. It's good to wait to note that the information is there that it does add another wrinkle to this that we did not know even perhaps earlier in the day and certainly a couple of days or so ago. Santel says it's best to include information that could have an impact on the investigation. You don't want to be in a position down the road where you look back and say, gosh, I had this information at the start of this investigation or near its beginning and I failed to present it to the judge. With the latest findings in this gruesome case, Santel wants to reinforce the importance of innocent until proven guilty. What would you, in simple terms, just say to somebody watching this tonight? The important takeaway is that the investigation continues. We don't know what that means yet. However, as the investigation continues, he can't help but think of this beautiful young woman. There is always a focus on the victims, and this is plainly beyond horrific. The adjectives fail all of us, right, in describing what happened. Anderson pleaded not guilty and waived his right to a preliminary hearing. Now this devastating death is heading to trial. In Milwaukee, Megan Lee, TMJ4 News. Maxwell Anderson is accused of killing Shonda Robinson, then dismembering her body after a first date earlier this month. Now he remains in jail tonight, held on a $5 million bond.